let's say there is a force F in 3D space and we have been asked to find out its moment about the x-axis. How do we find that out? What we do is we pick up any point on this x-axis. For the sake of convenience, we take point O and we compute moment of this force about point O. And the moment vector MO looks like this and its x component is mx and that is the moment about the x-axis and gives an idea about rotation about the x-axis. The moment vector mo can be written as mx i plus my j plus mz k. These are just the labels. There would be some numbers here and mx is the moment about the x-axis. This also can be found by doing dot product of the vector mo with a unit vector along the x-axis because mx is the projection of the moment vector mo on the x-axis. But now we are asked to compute the moment of this force about the line L. How do we do that? Taking the moment about point O does not make any sense, but we can certainly use the same basic idea of the previous case and apply it to this situation. We can pick up any point on the line L. Let's say we pick up point P and we compute the moment of this force F about point P. And let's say that works out to MP. And then we take projection of this vector onto the line L and that comes out to ML. So ML is the moment of this force F about the axis L and this gives an idea about the rotation in this direction about the line L. Mathematically we can say that ML is equal to MP vector dot with lambda which is a unit vector along L. This is the unit vector along the line L. And MP in turn is R P A R P A cross with the force vector. This is a vector product to compute the moment about point P and then we dot it with a unit vector along the line L and that will give us the moment about the axis L. So it's as simple as that. So based on this idea, let us work out a problem. In this problem, we have to find moment of this force F about the line CD. So we will use the same idea that we talked about a little while ago. We will pick up any point on the line CD. Let's say we pick up point C and then we compute the moment of the force F about this point C. Let's say MC that will be equal to RCB cross with the force vector. How much is RCB? RCB is we have to go 5 meters in positive y direction and 4 meters in positive x direction. So it shall be 4 i plus 5 j cross with the force vector and that is given here. It is minus 40 i plus 80 j plus 60 k. In order to do a cross product of these two vectors, we can either use clock method or determinant method. Today we will solve this by using the determinant method. So we first write i, j, k in the matrix form. We have 4i and 5j in the second row. So it will be 4, 5 and 0. 
the third row is of the force. So, it will be minus 40, 80 and 60. So, we have to evaluate this matrix and that will be equal to I times cross multiplication. So, it will be I times 5 into 60 is 300 minus 80 into 0 is 0, j will be minus j and within bracket 4 times 60 is 240, minus 40 times 0 is 0 plus k and within bracket we have 8 times 4, 320 minus minus 40 into 5 that is minus 200. So, it will become plus 200 and this will work out to 300 i minus 240 j plus 520 k Newton meter. So, this is the moment of the force f about point c. Now, we should be taking projection of this moment along the line c d and for that we have to dot it with a unit vector along c d. So, let us find out the unit vector along the line c d and let us call it lambda c d. So, lambda c d would be equal to the position vector c d upon the magnitude of this position vector and that will be equal to c d would be positive 10 meters in y direction minus 3 meters in k direction. So, it will be 10 j minus 3 k and divided by the magnitude of this which will be 10 square plus 3 square and this will work out to 1 upon 109 square root 10 j minus 3 k. So, let us call the moment m c d as the projection of this moment along the line c d that will be equal to m c dot note that this is a vector and this too is a vector. This is a unit vector along c d and so we have 300 i minus 240 j plus 520 k dotted with ten j minus three k and this will work out to two forty into ten will give us minus two four zero zero and five twenty times minus three will give us minus fifteen sixty and this will work out to minus three nine six zero upon ten point four four equal to three seven nine point three which is roughly three seventy nine Newton meter and that is the answer. Sorry, I made a mistake. This should be minus. So, answer would be minus 379 Newton meter and this is a scalar quantity because we are finding dot product of two vectors. So, this will be a scalar quantity and its direction would be d to c because of the minus sign. So, the meaning of minus sign is that the 
moment vector along CD is directed from D to C and not from C to D as we had assumed earlier. So, this is the answer and we are done. So, thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful and in case you like the video, please give your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.